The Afghan delegation that arrived in Norway Saturday night is 15 members, all male. It is the first time Taliban representatives have been on European soil for talks since seizing power in August. Negotiations are being held at a resort northwest of the Norwegian capital. Norway is hosting, but there are delegations from the European Union, the US, the UK, Germany, France, and Italy. No to Taliban! Protesters were out in several cities. This was Afghan nationals in the Norwegian capital. There was also a protest in downtown Toronto. They argue that by hosting the talks, Norway is legitimizing the Taliban's control over Afghanistan. Uh, for us, it's like saying yes to Taliban. That Norway want to say yes to Taliban. The Norwegian foreign minister has been careful to say the talks are not official recognition of the Taliban government. But he says lines of communication are needed because the Taliban is, in effect, governing the country and millions face starvation. But if Norway says it's not legitimizing the Taliban, the Taliban itself says it's a step to do exactly that. This type of uh, invitation and communication will help. That's shocking. Friba Rezaei was Afghanistan's first female Olympian. She now lives in Vancouver. Rezaei says Norway should have insisted the Taliban include women in its delegation. The meeting should have been an opportunity to push the Taliban to open up. They cannot negotiate with the Taliban at the cost of our rights, our human rights and women's uh, rights. Yeah. The international delegations have said humanitarian aid and human rights are at the top of things to be discussed. But the Taliban's main goal is very different. It wants access to close to $10 billion frozen by the U.S. and other Western countries. It's time for international community to support Afghans, not punish them because of their political disputes. Now, there are aid groups and some U.S. lawmakers saying action is needed even if it means talking or negotiating with the Taliban. The current stalemate has to be broken, they say. Too many lives are on the line. Mike Armstrong, Global News.